Welcome you all to my channel. If this is your first time of coming to my channel, thanks a lot. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing room tour. You guys, I have like a lot of people who have asked me, you know, do like a room tour of your university, do like a room tour. And the reason why I haven't been able to put up the video is because, you know, like this is, um, a room of three i basically stay in the room of three and you know video rooms like that simply means that you are trying to like intrude on people's privacy because not everybody wants like their things or their face to be out on social media so anyways today i've been able to get like an empty room where it would be easy for me to show you guys like what um the room looks like and the reason why it's actually empty is because like you know year two students have graduated on saturday and then they've kind of like moved out of the dorm and i've also like moved out of this dorm so when i first came in i resumed very late in january so i was paired with you know year two students and like my two roommates are yet to student but they've actually like graduated and people are leaving the dorm like i mean like yet to so they asked the few of us who were in yet to dorm to automatically move to where our set is so let's just say that my first year i was in the midst of like year two and now i've been asked to like go back to the real dorm which is now like yet to because automatically we are now the new yet to student and we just have like one more year down and msc is done and dust temple anyways let me show you guys what this room looks like so in this dormitory we have three types of rooms we have the three rooms we have the two bedroom and we have the single room so this video is going to show you guys like the three bedroom if i'm able to see like a two bedroom or a single room maybe later on of course i'm going to video it and show you guys what it looks like but the room i am moving into now is a two bedroom but i also need to be sure or also need to make sure that it is also okay for my roommates if i want to video and show you guys what the two bedroom looks like you know i cannot just like video without asking for permission because that's actually like the right thing to do and if i'm able to see like a two bedroom or a single room then i'll show you guys what it looks like but for today video i'm gonna show you guys what the three bedroom looks like which is basically like where i stayed for my first year literally so now when you come in from the door you know this is what the door looks like you just like go in and then come out we have this so we have this um at this part so basically during winter you just hang like your winter jackets here because you know that you guys are putting on like a lot of winter jackets so this is where it looks like and let me show you guys what the wardrobe looks like like i said because it's a three bed so this is one wardrobe you can see like this is one for the first roommate for an example and then you can see this is the second one so you have the first one you basically just have like this sliding doors this is the second one this is what the storage looks like so here basically you just have to like hang in your clothes put in like some of your basic stuff in there and this is what the third wardrobe look like so three rooms everybody has their wardrobe space and also has like this upper part where you can just like put like your box for an example or maybe things you are really not using and here we have our winter jacket so now this part of the room which is close to the door this is what we have let's go ahead and open this up so basically you are keeping like your food items or your plates in this section now for this section we have two because it's definitely going to be shared among the three roommates so this is just like your kitchen where you have like your plates stored or your you know food stuff it depends on you and your roommates and it's going to be shared so on top of this part is where you keep like your pots you know 
or your dishes when you're done eating and here also we have like these two cabinets also which is basically like your kitchen stuff so like your pots your bowls your plates and it's just two steps it's just two steps and also is to be shared among the three roommates so that is why i'm going to save that it's also very key this is what it looks like it's also very key for you to ensure that you live at peace with your roommates because trust me you are going to be sharing this this is just two layers shared by the three roommates this is what it looks like and this also two layers shared by your roommates so by the side here we have the fridge which is a single fridge for everyone in the room so if you are three in the room this is what the fridge looks like you have like three layers you can just share them and here also you can just share it and of course we have like the freezer you know just very little so for this fridge also it will be shared among the three roommates and it actually depends on how you and your roommates wants to share it so this is what it looks like and this is what we have at this end so now we have one table here we have one bed here so let's just say this is bed space a table a you know and we have bed space b and table b this is the window what the window side looks like and we have bed space c and this is the table so moving back now let me show you guys like the full view you can see that we have three bed space and three table space for reading so a b c for the three rooms the three roommates and you can also see the three tables one two three so everybody in the room has like a bed space and of course you also have like your table space also now in every bed space you have this on the upper part of your bed space on your bed space also you have this and for this bed space also you also have this so every bed space has this so let me show you guys what this storage looks like so here you basically have to keep like your cream your laundry your cream you know your skincare your basic things that you are using you can just keep them here you can keep your notes and then you the upper part you can use it to hang like your shoes not like hang like just place like your shoes and this is what it looks like so it's basically equal for all the bed space you can see this is what it looks like and for this bed space also is actually equal you know just like your basic stuff so your book things that are passing out to you kind of then you just have to like store them here now you can also see that we have this big window let me show you guys the view of what this looks like you can see the view so different rooms have like different angles of views that they are facing you know i'm going to show you guys the few building of how tall the dormitory looks like but this is also like a dorm beside it is actually like very so i'm gonna see if i can capture that so this is the view for this window for this room different rooms with different views and um of course there is heater because during winter you guys know that it's actually like pretty cold so that is like the basic thing we have in the room now let me show you guys like another um bed space so all the beds are you know you can raise up all the beds this way you can literally raise up all the bed this way so i've gone ahead to raise up this bed this is you have like a storage <coughs> you have like a storage space also under the bed so your boxes or maybe clothes you are not really using things you don't really use so frequently like your box your you know now that it's summer you can just like store like your winter jacket there rather than hanging it so you can just like keep storage stuff under the bed so every bed has every bed has like this storage space that you can just like raise up and then this is what you have so i'm gonna go ahead now and just it down so when you get into the room or when they've signed you into the room and i'm also going to say that every bed space also has like a socket where you can literally like 
charge you know every bed space has that so when you get into the dorm they are going to give you a bed spread blanket <coughs> so when you get into the dorm the dorm is going to give you blankets this is blankets they're going to give you duvet cover this is duvet a bed sheet pillow and a pillowcase so basically every month they change the bed space they change the bed sheets <laughs> they change the bed sheets the duvet cover and the pillowcase to the same color so every month you go ahead and you change it so you might not really have to buy like your own bed spread or your own duvet cover because the school is going to give you the dome and also you have the right to like change it every every month literally so i feel like this is simple what the room looks like you know but for two rooms is smaller than this because of course it's just two people in the room and then you have everything just to be two so you have like two bed space two tables if i'm able to see that you know if i'm able to show you guys what the two bed space or the single room look like i'm gonna show tell you guys and show you guys also in terms of the payment is actually very different also so for so for three bed space the price or the amount you pay for three rooms is different from double room is different from single room however note that when you are coming the school is definitely going to assign you to your room so it's not like you have the option to choose to say oh i want a single room or i want a double room you know some you might be lucky that when you are coming they will assign you to a double room or a triple room now they easily don't assign people to single room you know except if you request for it on demand and not just requesting for it they're also going to make sure that the reason why you want the single room is genuine for you to be alone before it's going to be granted onto you so basically once you get admission and you're coming into the dorm you are either paired to a three room or a double room you know and like i said the prices are different and maybe if you have like good reasons or good reasons why you want to stay alone in a single room then though grants you you know is that is a bit um you know that is a bit not 100 percent because you can demand for it and then they don't grant you a single room and you can demand for it and then they'll grant you a single room so i think it basically just depends on the reason why you want that single room so but basically is either a three rooms or a two rooms that you are going to be paired with when you are coming you know and i feel like now you also have the right to change your room so let's say you get into a room and you don't like it, like your roommates or you're having issues with your roommates or you know maybe for personal reasons you don't just align with your roommates you can complain to them to say that you don't want that roommate or you don't want the room can they change your room so when you're able to do that or if you do that then they are definitely going to change your room however they will still change it to like a triple room or a double room and you also have the option to say oh i and my friend wants to live together as roommates you know let's say you have friends that you guys are coming together you can just choose yourself to say oh we want to live together as roommates can we be two in the room can we be three in the room they're definitely going to grant you that once there is big vacancy so for me i just like stayed in the room that i was paired in initially and to be very honest with you guys like they've been so amazing they're actually still amazing we there's basically like no issues or anything you know and i feel like once yeah once you have roommates or you're living with people it's also very necessary for you to make sure that you guys live at peace because they are like your family here because there are people where you sleep like sleep together and wake up together there are people where you tend to spend like most of your times together and they are more or less like a part of or an eye of your family that's kind of like looking after you or just knowing that you have people around kind of i don't know if you guys get so but that is to say that if you have issues with your roommates you can as well ask them that you want to change but i think i was so lucky that i don't have any issue with my roommates and i stayed with them basically for like the whole period i was to stay with them and trust me it was very interesting and very so trust me like it was very interesting it was fun and all of that and i'm also going to say that when it comes to pairing of roommates you know your roommates can either be from the same nationality with you or from a different nationality i think it basically just depends on when they are being when you are being paired and like i said you can also complain if you want to you know so my 
previous roommates which is just like my roommates currently now you know they were both nigerians and of course i'm also a nigerian so maybe I, I can't say that is the reason why we get along because i feel like the moment you are coming into a space where you know you're going to have roommates you have to be able to know that you are ready to um live with people you have to be open-minded to live with people you have to be able to bend certain rules for yourself you have to be able to accommodate people because you guys are from different um backgrounds different beliefs different countries and the ability for you to live together peacefully is also something that being in school is going to teach you or being in school is going to train you on how to do you know and i feel like it just depends so it can be from any nationality totally so my current roommate now is definitely not a nigerian she's a white lady and she's from azerbaijan so i feel like it just depends and once you're able to live with people and you're able to understand people and understand yourself and try as much as possible to live peaceful with people you are living with but if otherwise or if you have like a very serious you know issues you are free to ask them to change your room that you want a different room so for me i feel like maybe because i attended like a boarding school where we were about close to 30 in a room if you attended like a federal boarding school then you shouldn't be so new with living in the midst of people you know so for my secondary school we're about close to 30 in a room and we're all girls i feel like that experience and i lived there with different um people for six years because they keep on changing like rooms and all of that so i feel like living there for six years kind of like build you or gives you an experience that you'll be able to adapt and to live with people regardless of where they are from regardless of their religion regardless of their belief regardless of their culture you know but the only different thing is that in nigeria for an example all of you are all nigerians but different nationality but yeah for an example it exposes you to the ability to live with people from different countries different culture different beliefs and different religion but the ability for you to still respect people's value respect people and also respect yourself makes it very easy so now i know you want to ask like what about the toilet and what about the kitchen i'm going to go ahead and show you guys like how many people are sharing a kitchen and how many people are sharing the toilet so let's go ahead now and i'm going to show you guys that so guys let me just show you guys like what the kitchen looks like so we have like the sink and then we have this um electric plates and also this electric plates and also we have this sink so basically this is what the kitchen looks like it's actually like very big actually and it's actually like very big actually but the only thing is that there's one kitchen in every floor so if you're on the first floor everybody in the first floor uses one kitchen if you're on the second floor everybody in the second floor uses one kitchen i'm gonna say that the rooms are the room should be more than 20 if more than 20 rooms what is 20 more than 20 rooms actually so let's say within 30 rooms right so about 30 rooms some of the rooms are three some of the rooms are two and then everybody uses the same kitchen but it's actually very fine because each of this burner of this electric cooker are like four um four places to cook and then each of these also are like four places to cook and to be very honest it's actually like very slim for everybody to want to cook at the same time because the time we are cooking somebody else is not cooking you know and like i said that's like eight you know so eight people can cook at the same time and it's actually like very rare for a lot of people to want to cook at the same time naturally because people have like different things the time you want to cook people might be in school people might be outside people might not be in the moon so it's enough okay i know you might want analyzing like you know about 30 rooms to one kitchen is it enough it's actually enough because people don't really cook at the same time actually so the, the kitchen is actually like good and okay and this is basically like what the kitchen looks like and of course yeah so this is a flat now so let's say this is a flat this is like my room we are about three in this room and this room is a double room like i said triple room and double room so means total of five people so the total of five people shares the same bedroom and bath however i know 
it's possible that this can be like ladies room and this is a guy's room and it's possible that this is a guy's room this is a ladies room it's also possible that you know both are both ladies and it's possible that both are both guys but one thing for sure is that in a whole room like this it's gonna be the same gender so if this is a room now if it's two people in the room the two people are going to be guys or the two people are girls right but in a flat like this you can have girls here and you can have boys here so now for the toilet so it simply means that the two rooms which is as which is about a total of five people five to six if the two rooms are triple rooms right if the two rooms are triple rooms then it means it's six people but if it's a single three room and a single double room it means there are five people so this is what the toilet looks like you just have like your shower here you have like a toilet you have like the sink and of course you have this and this is the fine sexy girl behind the camera cheers guys so this is definitely what it looks like so guys that is what it looks like i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys enjoyed like my videos let me know in the comment section what video you want me to put up next and if you have any question or video you want me to make a video on go ahead and put it down in the comment section so this is basically like what the rooms looks like and of course we have like one laundry room in the old dormitory so the laundry room is just one in the old dormitory so we have about 10 floor um 10 floor like the building is about 10 floors and in every dormitory we have like one laundry room okay so maybe i'm going to show you guys what the laundry room looks like but until then let's go